And now it's time to go to my sophisticated animation. First, you drill a hole and then you put two pipes down in the hole. Then you hook it to your pimped out geothermal air handler and voila, you've got cheap heat and air conditioning. <laughs> geothermal is cheaper because it's a lot more efficient than standard heat and air conditioning. Those pipes are full of water. You could probably get away with just water, but if the unit was turned off in the coldest part of winter, the pipes might freeze. So they mix it with a little antifreeze, sort of like your windshield wiper fluid. The water acts like a giant radiator, and the earth acts like a temperature regulator. Here in Tennessee, and in most of the world, the average temperature underground is a moderately cool 55 degrees. Just mix the hot air from your house with the cold water under the ground and you get a nice breezy air conditioning. In the winter, it works in reverse. Cold air from your house is first heated up to 55 degrees by the geo loop. Then your heater has to do a lot less work to get the air warmed up to a comfortable 72 degrees. If everybody switched to geothermal, we could cut our cold generated electricity in half. Old guys like my dad like to do things the old way. That's why millions of people limp along year after year with outdated old-fashioned heat pumps. <laughs>